Mr. President, it is my great honor to address the General Assembly at this esteemed gathering of the United Nations Summit of the Future. This summit represents a moment of reflection and a moment of action as we reaffirm our commitment to building a resilient, equitable, and safer world. In an era marked by profound changes from rapid technological advancements to environmental crisis, global security and sustainable development are inherently linked. Interpol recognizes the crucial role that law enforcement plays in ensuring the security and the prosperity of communities around the world. By securing the streets, police strengthen the foundations for development. By protecting communities, police empower them to reach further. This is why Interpol launched the Global Policing Goals back in 2017. These offer a blueprint for law enforcement to advance Agenda 2030 in complementarity to the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Later this year, the UN General Assembly will also seek to adopt the fourth review of its resolution on the cooperation between Interpol and the UN. Through previous reviews, the international community reinforced this complementarity and affirmed Interpol's position as a key implementing partner. In achieving the objectives of the SDGs, we must also recognize that no country and no organization can act on its own. Criminal networks are being built around the world. Ties are being created, actions coordinated. To counter them, we need to be more innovative and more agile. As Interpol Secretary General, it is my conviction that a safer future hinges on a single, strong global architecture of security, on one that avoids silos and duplication, one that ensures inclusivity of information, of networks, and of access to technology, and one that prevents gaps and loss of critical information. Interpol stands ready to continue building this with member states, regional, and global partners. Excellency, this summit calls on us to build opportunities for tomorrow's generations, founded on multilateralism and a strong integrated security system. To fulfill this mission, we must restore and maintain trust in the institutions designed to protect peace, security, and prosperity. This means evolving our approaches to address emergent challenges responsibly, ethically, and with integrity in making the world a safer place. I thank you very much.